G'day everyone, you've just seen me unbox a couple of brand new batteries here. We've got the Hikoki T-Power and the Makita BL4040F. These are both tabless batteries. What's a tabless battery? Well, if you want to know that, have a look in this video up here and down in the description. In this video, I'm just going to open up some batteries so I can have a look and see what cells they're actually using. Now, we know what cells they're using in this one because I did this video and I had to cut into a... <laughs> A perfectly good tabless battery um, and they use these cells here which are Murata VX40 cells and if you want to see some go ballistic oh look at that one's been burned out isn't it yeah videos up in the top corner and down below so tabless cells are becoming the thing now all tool companies are starting to release tabless cells batteries because they put out more power and they run cooler and in theory they should last longer they're just more efficient at getting the energy to where you need it so you can get more power to your tool and therefore you'll get the job done quicker the batteries won't get as hot so the batteries will last longer hopefully more information about that in those videos that are up there and down there this is also a tabless cell battery as is this they are not pouch cells like some people think i've taken these apart as well so in this video, we'll take the three of them apart and we will compare and see what cells each one has. Even though I know these ones, so basically I just really want to know what's going on inside this battery. It's a company originally from Japan, so are they using the, the Murata cells like Makita, which is a Japanese company? Or are they using the Amp Ace cells like Milwaukee are using? Or are they using something else? As far as I'm aware, there are only three companies that are making tabless cells at this stage, 21700 tabless cells, and that's Murata, Amp Ace, and Eve, E-V-E. -E. So which one of those is inside this battery? I'll just quickly open up these and show you what these are like. All three of these batteries are held together with Torx screws. Shit, that's bad. <laughs> Fuck, I was lucky. All three of these batteries are held together with Torx head screws. The Makita and the Milwaukee have that security little pain in the ass pin in the middle. So you need to get bits that have that hole in the middle to go over that. The Hikoki doesn't have the security bits. They're just standard Torx. Always be careful when opening batteries. They can do some nasty things. So... This is what I had to do to this battery to try and find the number. And I think I found it in that point there after cutting it open there and thinking I was close, but it's just a warning. Did a little <laughs> look through in lots of little different places. Just cut open a flap there. But I saw through here that they were VX40s. Now for the forge, which has the screws in the side, which is a good thing because a lot of people have had problems with Milwaukee batteries falling apart. So Now these batteries are quite nice looking on the inside. Much nicer than previous Milwaukee batteries. And if we take a look at the bottom, we'll see gray plastic indicating these are using Amp Ace batteries. So, is the Hikoki using one of those two? Or is it using Eve? Now, Eve, if they are using Eve, is um, a bit more of a budget brand, I do believe. I don't know a lot about battery cells, but I know the Murata ones are pretty darn good. Samsung don't yet make tabless cells, just those three companies like I said. Now this battery compared to the old tabbed batteries, these have no over molding, they're just polycarbonate like Makita 18 volt batteries. But these newer ones have some TPE over molding on the base, which is quite nice. Sits nice on the bench without damaging anything, doesn't make as much noise when you're making YouTube videos. I'm plonking that down. Now this was the original multivolt battery design. They then changed the design similar to this, but without T-Power written on it. T-Power is the tabless, or t power So that is what the tabless ones look like. You need to look out for that written on the side of it. 
So let's take a look. Hopefully I don't have to cut into it too much to see the actual cell. Put those screws over there so we don't get everything muddled up. Incidentally, if you want to see them in real world situations, the tabbed versus the new tabless. Take a look up in the top corner up here. I might have done a video on that. And I might have done it with the Makita as well, doing belt sanders, if you have a look up in that top corner. Right, how's this one going to come apart? Gotcha. They have these little slots that look like you stick a screwdriver in them. You need to press the plastic in, kind of thing. Gotcha. We are in. Yay. Now, you want to see the waterproofing? <laughs> oh, that was probably holding the case on as well because it was touching there. It's been stuck up against the inside. This is how High Koki do it on some of their tools as well. If you open up like a um, impact driver, you'll see the boards all just covered in this stuff and around the clamshell. So once you've opened it the first time, you ruin the um, IP56 rating. But yeah, the board completely covered. There is nothing visible at all. Just the lights there for the battery gauge. And we've got blue cells in here. You know what that means. It's soft on the sides. It's cushioning here. Oh, and the cells are nice and exposed. Wish they were all like that. It'd make my life a lot easier. <laughs> If I'm using them, I don't want them like that, but for the purposes of pulling them apart on YouTube videos, that's um, very handy. You can see just here, they are EVE 21700 cells, and they are 40 PLs. So, slightly disappointing from what I know, focus, about the battery cells. That is the, the worst cell. So, Makita uses Murata VX40. Milwaukee uses Ampace JP40 and Eve uses 40PL. Which one do you reckon is the best? Which cell lasts the longest, discharges the fastest, puts out the most amps? Have that argument down there. Looking at the construction and the way the batteries are put together there with the leads coming in on the ends, the way they're soldered on on the high Koki, not loving it. I feel this is the cheapest design in all aspects, pretty much. Apart from the entire board being covered so that it doesn't get damaged. Then again, the Makita one is totally covered as well. So this is the end of the Haikoki. And the end and the bottom and stuff just looks a little bit cheap, a little bit like a, you know, could be a Chinese knockoff, it'd be hard to know sort of thing. Um, and then the Milwaukee one looks awesome. Just looks really nice <laughs> just nicely nicely done and the makita one is sort of in the middle it's got the top covered in clear goo so you can at least see what's going on underneath it and the milwaukee has nothing visible although there's probably something sprayed over that to give it some protection i hope there is but you can't see it at least i can't see it so i think the milwaukee looks the nicest followed by the makita and Hikoki, unfortunately, is last. And if we have a quick look at the makeup of the cases, polycarbonate with TPE, and this one is the toughest, like the thickest polycarbonate out of the three. The Kita one is much thinner, a lot easier to squeeze. Makita, just polycarbonate, no TPE. The Milwaukee is not polycarbonate. But it does have a TP, it's not TPE though, is it? This is TPS SEBS. So it does the same job, but slightly different makeup. And it's PA66 nylon, not polycarbonate. Personally, I prefer polycarbonate, but this one sort of feels the second strongest. A lot of vents in the bottom. And all three are made in China. But the cells in this one are made in Japan. These two are made in China. Actually, before we go, shall we just have a look what's inside this battery? Just to see what cells they're using in there. Because I don't think 
I've ever taken one of those apart either. They are of course 21700 cells, 4 amp 21700 cells, but which brand? What do you reckon? Place your bets. Let's take a wee look. We've got the same design here. Yeah, let's go. Shouldn't be doing this. I might want to sell this battery. Ugh. She's a little bit dusty, but as you can see, totally covered up as well. I like the other one. The board looks, well, it's hard to tell of course, but it looks pretty much exactly the same. Let's now get that out of there. We can see we have purple cells. That one there is nice on the ends here. It looks real cheesy, doesn't it? Got a lot of um, <laughs> rust dust in here. So these are Samsungs. You can usually just tell by the color what brand they are because they all sort of use different colors, which is nice and easy. Don't use in a vape. So these are Samsung 40T cells. So argue down below how much difference there is between those. I'm not going to tell you how much amps each one puts out because there's like the official numbers from the companies, but there's so many different things. I don't want to confuse too many people with all the different temperatures they put out certain amps at for how long and blah, blah, blah. I would need to put a heap of shit up on the screen and I sort of can't be bothered to be honest. This was just a quick video I was making while I'm waiting for the Makita sander that should be sitting there to show up. But yes, yeah, some of them will work better at different temperatures than others. So which cell is exactly the best? Let me know what you think down in the comments section. And I'll see you on another video next time. If you want to see the Hikoki and the 40 volt one here go up against each other with belt sanders, take a look up here. Hopefully I've done that video over on my main channel. That's right, this is not my main channel. If you've only subscribed to this channel, you're missing out on most of my videos, which are over on a channel called Tools and Stuff up there and down in the description.